favorite CDs that you guys have put together, or ones that you regret, songs that you regret, songs that you like <laughs> primarily? The regret, was, <laughs> the regret was a neat question, you know, I, want, I mean, I, don't, I wonder what, like, uh, if a lot of artists regret. You know, what sticks out to me is, like, uh, one of my favorite albums ever was Weezer Pinkerton. But they, you know, they seem to, and Rivers seem to identify as regret that he wrote that. And I don't know if it's more of what he wrote or the fans take on it kind of thing, you know. But it seems like it's one of their best albums. It's one of, it's one of my favorite albums ever. So, I, and I, I was really disappointed to hear that he, you know, had regretted that. Um, and it ruins it. <laughs> this ruins it? It kind of ruins it. You think it ruins the whole record? Well, it, it's, it, if you're, if you like it so much, you find out what you're doing. It, it kind of puts a damper on it. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, what, like, like if I found out you guys were jerks, <laughs> <laughs> and I love your music, I, I would that would be the first thought that comes to my head when I hear your music. Is, oh, they're not very nice. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I know what you mean, but but. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I think the, the point about that is it just kind of lets you down about the people. Because it makes it feel like they're shallow, I guess. Or like he wanted more or something. I, I don't know. I don't think we regret anything. We Our uh, record, Only a Man, didn't uh, sell well. And we thought it was going to sell well. And we were really excited about it. So there was, a, there was actually, to be quite honest, a little bit of a... We felt a little bit of a burn or a sting, like... Man, people didn't didn't like that. No, that was you know, beautiful. that's my favorite album. Me too. <laughs> well, well, let's be honest. You guys are the pretty good fans. So, you know, I mean, that, that's that's pretty obvious. But there was some amount of I thought I felt like sting of of that record not doing well because we were really excited about it. So there's part of me that looks back on that um, with a little bit. I wouldn't say regret at all, and I still love the the music that's on there, but. Um, but there's just a little bit of something, something to that. So that I still don't really know how to process. But the, the neatest thing about that was um, going into that record. I think we were probably really becoming arrogant and jerks. And I really believe that no matter what I would do, it would succeed and be better and be awesome. And no, no, everything I'll do will be better and better because that's what had happened up to that point. Yeah. So um, there's nothing I'm more thankful for than that lesson that I'm am not special, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm just an idiot, no <laughs> and um, the, the, the humility of that was, was, was actually a great, way greater gift than more album sales could have ever, ever be. so that's what I think about, I'm like, totally di disagrees or agrees. Do you have any personal favorites though? Personal favorite musically, yeah, that's what I'm saying, I think that was, I mean, we were as excited, we, I mean, I think that musically was, the, was really neat, we feel like we really put ourselves out there and tried to do something different stuff like that so I, I certainly don't regret the, the musical notes and stuff that we wrote thank you uh, you know but but it's weird when it's in a commercial sense you have to think about this do other people like, it's hard to because it, you know it's not like you just only do music for yourself once you enter the commercial world you can't so it, it gets pretty weird to tell you the truth mm -hmm. no. um I don't know. Uh, I think for me, I love all of our albums just because it's hard for me uh, to decide on a favorite because each album was like who I was at that moment. So like when we wrote The Week's End, that's, that was Toby then. So I look back on all the things that were happening at that moment too. So the songs are, for me, the lyrics and stuff are really tied up into that, that person. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to look back and go, y'all, the songs are just so much more even, you know, regardless of which song on the, on the, on the album. So it's really nice. I really love this new album. Um, I know it's maybe part of it or a lot of it's because it's just new and we're excited about it but I've always wanted to do some of this softer stuff and, and the lyrics on this album are really personal a lot of them get very personal very depressing you know introspective <laughs> messed up things that about uh, me and, and Matt had some input too and so uh, th this album's been really fun to write just because it's really us we were thinking about making this a Emory acoustic record we'd written some songs for um, Emory and I'd written some songs solo and uh, Matt and I just got to talking, and he had some ideas for songs too. And we just thought, this, we want this to be a band. We want to do stuff like this more. We want to talk with you guys. We want to be hanging out at a party with you guys and learning about you, having community, and, and all those things. So that's what's kind of important to us. So, on that note too, um, I'll take some more questions in a little bit, but I do want to talk about some songs. So, this next song is called okay. Oh No, and um, we're from the South. So, this song, um, how, many, how many people grew up in like really small towns? And did you want to get out of there, or what did you, yeah, that was the same way it was for me. I, we grew up in Greer, South Carolina, and I just couldn't wait. I mean, I even ran away one time, and <laughs> I got about 10 miles away, and, you know, called my family, and they were crying, and I went right back. I was a big puss. So, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to get out of there so bad, and this song is just about, it's kind of loosely based on some, it, it, this is about a, 
kind of a young girl that uh, got caught in that and that idea of um, I, I don't know how it worked for you guys leaving the small town but um, some people don't ever get out and then their identity becomes that small town and everybody knows them and that's just what they are and it, it's like it's like this weight on them when you go back to visit your family or something you see that friend and that they are the town and they, they can't they never escape it and their identity became that and it's kind of sad and it's just that that idea of oh man I, I'm going to get out of here and you never do because somehow that town keeps always has a tether on you and just pulls you right back so that's kind of what this song's about. <laughs> 